In 2016, the whole world was surprised when America had a president who was a billionaire, a businessman, and a television producer. At that time, it was difficult for the American people to believe that a person at the peak of money and fame like billionaire Donald Trump would embark on a political path full of pitfalls. For many decades, he was known as a scrappy real estate developer in New York. He then appeared as a media-savvy reality TV personality. Donald Trump has stubbornly exploited the deep feelings of Americans to become the most notable politician phenomenon in the United States over the past 240 years. He's also the first president not to receive a salary during his four years working at the White House. Right from the moment he took office, he was considered the richest U.S. president of all time. With his net worth of a billion dollars, it's not hard to guess how his lavish mansions and vehicles will be. That's right. In today's video, Luxury Style would like to invite you to learn more about the huge assets that billionaire Donald Trump owns. Donald Trump's full name is Donald John Trump, born and raised in the Queens District of New York City. He became U.S. President after the 58th election in 2016. Mr. Trump completed 8th grade in high school at NYMA. During his senior year, Trump joined the marching band, achieving the rank of cadet captain. Trump studied here, according to Fred Trump, because he was a rather grumpy and stubborn boy at the time. He wanted this academy to train Donald Trump to become an exemplary, serious person. Trump studied at Fordham University for two years. He entered the Wharton School of Business at the University of Pennsylvania because at that time, Wharton was one of the few schools in the U.S. with a real estate studies department. Trump graduated from Wharton in 1968 with a BA in economics. Right after graduating from University of Pennsylvania with a total asset of about $200,000, he started his career at his family's company, Elizabeth Trump and Son. Since then, he has built hotels, golf courses, and other projects, many of which were named after him. During his college years, one of Trump's first projects was the revival of Swifton Village Apartment Complex in Cincinnati, Ohio which his father bought for $5.7 million in 1962. Fred and Donald Trump were all involved in the project. Trump managed 14,000 corporate apartments in Brooklyn, Queens, and Staten Island. In 1972, the Trump Organization sold Swifton Village for $6.75 million. In 1973, he and his father attracted broader attention when the Justice Department argued in a lawsuit that their company systematically discriminated against African-Americans seeking to rent apartments. The department alleged the Trump Organization chose people basing on their race and income that was not as low as Trump's claimed. In 1978, Trump launched his Manhattan real estate business by purchasing 50% of the derelict Commodore Hotel located next to Grand Central Terminal. The purchase was financed largely by a $70 million construction loan guaranteed by Fred Trump and the Hyatt Hotel chain. When the remodeling was finished, the hotel reopened in 1980 with the name of the Grand Hyatt Hotel. In 2001, Donald Trump inaugurated Trump World Tower, a 72-floor residential building opposite the United Nations headquarters. He also began building Trump Place, an office complex along the Hudson River. Trump owned business premises at Trump International Hotel and Tower, a 44-floor complex hotel and apartment building at Columbus Roundabout. Trump also owned hundreds of thousands of square meters of first-class real estate in Manhattan. After assuming the presidency, Trump delegated the management of his real estate business to his two sons, Eric and Don Jr. His daughter, Ivanka, resigned from the Trump Organization and moved to Washington, D.C. with her husband, Jared Kushner. Up to now, according to Forbes, billionaire Donald Trump's net worth has been worth 2.5 billion U.S. dollars. It is known that his assets mainly come from commercial real estate and hotel businesses, in addition to investments in yachts and cars. In 2016, the former president's wealth peaked at an estimated value of $4 billion. However, this asset decreased by another billion dollars after the pandemic then continued to decrease by another $500 million last year. During the presidential campaign, the billionaire himself spent $66 million U.S. million funding his activities. In addition, after becoming the 45th president of the United States, he regularly donated his annual salary of $400,000. 
According to Forbes, most of Mr. Trump's assets are concentrated in New York City with a total value of about a billion dollars. The Trump Tower penthouse in New York, the former president's main residence before moving into the White House, is valued at $61 million. Besides, Mr. Trump's companies also own at least 14 real estate properties in the city, not including Trump World Tower and Trump Tower. According to expert estimates, his total real estate portfolio in New York is worth about 720 million US dollars. Moreover, he also owns resort properties in Palm Beach, Florida, including Trump Grad, Trump Tower Sunny Isles, and Trump Hollywood, with a total value of about 76 million US dollars. In particular, the private castle Mar-a-Lago, owned by the Trump Organization, is worth up to 325 million US dollars. Another estate on the Caribbean island of Saint Martin, called Le Chateau de Pamiers, is also owned by Mr. Trump, and is currently on market for sale for 15.5 million dollars. The former president also owns residential properties in New Jersey, Connecticut, Hawaii, Illinois, Nevada, as well as Europe, Asia, and South America. According to Trump Golf Count website, the billionaire also owns 18 golf courses and played golf nearly 300 times during his presidency. In addition to real estate investment, Mr. Trump is also particularly interested in supercars and private jets. Currently, him and his wife own a series of the world's top supercars, such as Mercedes McLaren. In 2006, Mrs. Melania Trump, before becoming the First Lady, appeared in Vogue magazine while being pregnant with her son Barron. She posed on Mr. Trump's jet, and below was an extremely flashy car. The car was launched in 2003 and is probably the most attractive Mercedes owned by Mrs. Melania. The car has a two-door bird wing design with 617 horsepower from a supercharged V8 engine and costs $600,000. Mercedes 220SE Ponton The 1959 convertible was shown off by Mr. Trump's wife on Instagram in the summer of 2014. SE Ponton's gasoline engine producing 118 horsepower can accelerate from 0 to 96 kilometers per hour in 17 seconds. Billionaire Donald Trump's stepdaughter Ivanka Trump and her husband were also seen in this car. Cadillac After becoming the US president, Donald Trump and his wife used a new version of the bulletproof and bombproof Cadillac 1. At this time, it was designed to be an extended version of the Cadillac XT6 sedan. According to media reports, the car that former President Donald Trump and his wife used for four years was actually one of the 12 cars made under a contract worth 1.58 million US dollars, each of which weighs about 9.1 tons and is designed to block grenades, rockets, and handguns. The limo mentioned above is also designed to reserve Mr. Trump's blood type in case of emergency. Rolls-Royce Phantom Mr. Trump's family often travels in his Rolls-Royce Phantom, whose starting price is $500,000. Mrs. Melania once showed off photos of her happy trip with Mr. Trump driving with his youngest son, Baron, sitting next to him. The Phantom is known as a smooth car thanks to its ability to detect potholes on the road using a camera device. When it sees an obstacle, the car adjusts its suspension to navigate away from imperfections in the road. In addition, the Trump family is also set to own a 1956 Rolls-Royce Silver Cloud, which can be sold for up to $112,000 depending on condition and history. Orange County Choppers Former President Donald Trump was given a custom-made motorcycle. The car parts are made of 24K gold and Donald's name is engraved on it. In 2014, Mrs. Melania shared on Twitter about a car designed to suit her husband's personality. Cadillac Alante. Being popular with country clubs in the late 80s and early 90s, the Elante, like the Mercedes 560 SL, was a favorite of the rich and famous. Mr. Trump has long liked Cadillac, and he and his wife also have a special relationship with this car's manufacturer. Elante is a special gift from Cadillac to Mr. Trump, which was painted in his favorite yellow. In addition, during the 2016 election campaign, he bought a Boeing 727 from billionaire Paul Allen for $100 million and named it Trump Force One. Besides, he also owns a Sikorsky S-76 helicopter worth about $7 million US dollars, along with two other aircrafts worth $15 million. Moreover, Mr. Trump is loyal to Brioni branded suits, ranging from $5,250 to $6,900 US dollars each. Donald Trump's wife, Mrs. Melania, also has expensive fashion tastes with shirts worth up to $50,000. In 2018, 
In New York, Mr. Trump's son, Barron, attends Columbia Preparatory School, which costs $40,000 a year. This president is also a willing hunter with expensive activities. A 14-day white rhino hunt can cost $66,790. Although former President Trump was successful in business, he also had some major failures. In 1988, he spent $365 million on several Boeing 727 aircraft and landing facilities in Boston, New York, and Washington, D.C. He even bought the right to paint his name on an airplane. However, his efforts with the luxurious airline Trump Shuttle 1989-1992 failed, and the company subsequently closed. In 1990, the banks that supported Mr. Trump's investment sector underwrote him for new loans and lines of credit. His famous casino Taj Mahal in Atlantic City, New Jersey went bankrupt in 1991 and Trump Hotels and Casino Resort went bankrupt in 2004. In 2009, Trump Entertainment Resorts filed for bankruptcy again. One of his major business failures was Trump University. The online university opened in 2005 and closed in 2010. Three lawsuits involving the school spanned his campaign, claiming that Trump University defrauded students of tens of thousands of dollars. Mr. Trump spent $25 million settling the lawsuits but did not admit wrongdoing. Despite having a lavish lifestyle and possessing huge assets, billionaire Donald Trump has very different philosophies on how to spend money and work. In one of his books, Donald Trump revealed that to gain a competitive advantage at work, he only sleeps from 1 to 5 a.m. He advised readers, don't sleep more than what you have. No matter how excellent you are, there is not enough time in a day for you. When becoming a U.S. presidential candidate in the early stages, Donald Trump did not need anyone's money, use lobbying, and use sponsors. He claimed he was really rich. One thing few people know about Donald Trump's way of spending money is that he not only makes a lot of money, but also spends a lot. He's a boss and a business tycoon in the true sense of the word. Having bodyguards to protect him wherever he goes, he always demanded the most luxurious and noble things even in bad times of luck. However, Trump does not spend too much and knows how to manage spending. He believes that a few small mistakes in personal spending can negatively affect the entire amount of money you have and advises people to regularly review their spending to determine if you're spending it inappropriately. I know there are people who take expenses such as entertainment and alcohol lightly, while these expenses also need to be counted. Any small leak can sink a ship. The same goes for finances, Trump said. Not only is Donald Trump a talented businessman, but he's also a philosophical person. For Donald Trump, writing books, consulting, and debating are the ways for him to express his views on life. Very realistic and extremely pragmatic. He says and does what he wants because he can. Donald Trump's philosophy is that doing business starts when there is a vision. Without a vision, nothing can be done. For him, obstacles are the door to success and in the face of any difficulty, never step back. According to him, doing business always has risks and we must be ready to accept risks. However, we will not play games of chance because we must always control ourselves so that even a small failure will not permanently eliminate us from the game. The biggest risk in life is not being willing to take risks. The spirit of teamwork is a philosophy that Donald Trump always appreciates. He always determines that we cannot do anything alone. Building a high-class team is the only way to achieve great success. In many of Trump's books about getting rich, he discusses about finding balance. He mainly finds this balance by waking up at 5 a.m. and reading for about three hours a day. He often reads newspapers, philosophy, biographies, and his own books. Donald Trump has almost no contact with computers. This explains the reasons why despite spending millions of dollars on digital advertising campaigns, Mr. Trump does not get much result. In 2007, Trump asserted, I don't use email. Actually, I do, but very rarely. Indeed, in the Q&A program on the social network Reddit, Mr. Trump only knew about Mac computers 45 minutes before the discussion began. The image of Mr. Trump with a MacBook is mostly just for photography, making color. More interestingly, even with a son, this presidential candidate also expressed a surprise. My son is only 10 years old and already knows how to use a computer. It's unbelievable. Donald Trump is a billionaire who absolutely does not use stimulants such as alcohol, beer, cigarettes, and so on. 
This habit comes from the fact that he was haunted by the death of his older brother, Fred Trump Jr., due to alcoholism for a long time. It was this brother who had warned Donald Trump not to follow that same path before he passed away. Donald Trump strictly applies to his children the principles of not drinking alcohol, not smoking, and not getting tattoos. Violators will have their inheritance rights cut off. That is all the information about the rich, lavish, and luxurious life of the former US President Donald Trump and his huge assets. In particular, Mr. Donald Trump is gaining certain advantages in the 2024 US presidential re-election race. So, do you support him? Will the American dream be rewritten by this billionaire again? Please look forward to it and don't forget to leave your comments right below this video. See you again in Luxury Style's latest video.